So hip distance position. So yeah, we're thinking about the hip bones rather than the width. So a tiny bit closer together. And then again, just make sure your toes are lined up with each other and the feet are in parallel. Good. Right. And then you're thinking about your alignment. So your pelvis is going to be on top of your ankles, rib cage on top of the pelvis and the head reaching up to the ceiling. Nice. And then I'm just going to get you just to relax around the shoulders just a little bit more. So we didn't do this last time, but just bringing one hand onto the opposite side of the ribs. Right. And the other side. Okay. Good. And I want you to think about breathing into your hands rather than up into your shoulders. So breathe into the rib cage. And then breathe out through the mouth. Good. So really feel, it's like you're giving yourself a hug, breathing into the sides and backs of the ribs. And then breathing out, hopefully feeling the ribs closing down towards your hips. Good. And you'll already be engaging into your abdominals here just by doing that breath. So that yeah. nice wide lateral breath. And then that breathing out, the rib cage closing down. Yeah. Just do one more like that. Nice. And then keep breathing like that, but just let your arms come down by your sides. Good. So imagine that you still have the hands there. And as you exhale, you're really feeling the ribs closing down. And that's going to start to build that intra-abdominal pressure to help find your abdominals. Okay, okay. Good. And then you can think about that little drawing of the navel towards the spine so that you feel the abdominals connecting just a little bit deeper. And then we're going to step back with that right leg. So you want to try and keep your hips pointing forwards. Yeah. Exactly. Step in that leg back and see if you can shuffle it back a little bit further so you've got a bit more of a longer stance. Okay. Nice. That heel is going to stay lifted and you want to shift the weight back just a little bit so it's like your head and your ribs are okay. against the floor. That was okay. a good click. <laughs> nice. Okay. And then from here, maybe have the hands on the hips if you need a little bit extra balance. Yeah. We're going to slide down that wall behind you. So you're going to bend into both of your knees as you come down into that okay. sliding lunge. Good. Okay. Yeah. And then press all the way back up. Good. Right. So um, it's also good for your ankles as well. Very good for your feel, ankles. And also the, uh, my Achilles. Yeah, so you're, you're getting a stretch getting... in the Achilles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. that's fine. Exactly. So you can actually have your heel a little bit higher, though, if, if you're getting more of a stretch. Yeah, so keep your heel lifted yeah. as you go down now. So keep the heel up. I'll keep the heel up. Yeah, think more about your hips and knees bending. There we go. Okay. Oh, I yes, see. feel the difference. So rather yeah, than you're getting, the heel down, yeah. getting a very big stretch in your Achilles there. Yeah, so you want to come down basically as far as you can. If you can go lower with that back knee, go a little bit lower. Yeah. And then sliding all the way back up that wall. Really nice. Okay. Keeping the head pressing back. Still breathing? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. And let's just go for the last one. Sliding down that wall, keep the heel lifted. Good, lift the chest yeah. just a little bit. Nice, go a little bit lower if we can. Do yeah. one more flux, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. breathing out as you go down. Okay. Good, and then breathing in, coming up. Really nice. Now you're gonna transfer your weight into that left leg and just step that right foot forwards. So okay. your weight stays in that left side. Good. Okay. And then we're going to advance this by lifting that leg up into your standing balance. Nice. And then take the foot down. Great. Good. <laughs> so find a spot straight ahead to focus on. Float that leg up. Mm -hmm. Good. And then lower it down. Nice. Okay. Do one more like that. Okay. Good. And then tap the foot down. Keep the weight over in that left side. We're going to put the two exercises together. Right. Do you okay. remember this from the video? <laughs> yes. This is yeah. what I said. Watch the video first <laughs> yeah, so you yeah, know yeah, where yeah, it's yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to keep the weight over in that left side. We're going to go nice and slowly still. So you're going to step your right leg back behind you. Keep that yeah. heel lifted. Yeah. Nice. And you're going to slide down that imaginary wall. So bending into both of the knees. Yeah. Really good. Use your glutes and your abdominals to press back up. Step that foot forwards. And then go up into that knee fold. Really nice. You can tap the foot down if you like and then take it back. Or you can do what you just did and you just go from one into the next. So keeping the heel lifted. Nice. Okay. Weight in that left leg and your right leg comes straight up. Really good. Okay. Still breathing. So, yeah, still breathing. Still <laughs> nice. <talking>. So <laughs> still talking, the, yeah. the benefits of this yeah. is um, obviously for legs, strength. 
and stretching is correct yeah yeah so yeah. i mean you're not going to get a you obviously said you've got the achilles tendon stretch but yeah. you're more thinking about that functional movement so getting that mobility into your hips and your knees and your ankles as you're going down okay. and then as you're coming up you're keeping that strength in that left leg bringing yeah. your right leg up so you're really getting that balance okay. and again we're going to be flexing at the hip and the knee here as well so we're, we're getting mobility in both parts of the movement Okay. So mobilising the hips, the knees. Mobilising the hips and the knees. So and that's the ankles. Basically. Okay. Yes. And the ankles. Good. Okay. And also using your core to keep that balance. Keep the balance. Yeah. Okay. So there's lots of boxes that are checked. Lots of boxes that are checked. Exactly. Yeah. Good. So. Do you want to do the last one on that side? <laughs> oh, you had enough. <laughs> <laughs> Shake off the legs. Do you want to do the other leg? Uh, yeah, we could try the other leg. We because obviously some people have might be... a stronger side exactly so, yeah yeah okay. yeah so we'll do the other leg again we'll do a couple just of the lunges and then we'll take it into putting the balance yeah. and the two together okay so again find a spot straight ahead to focus on you know what you're doing this time so when you're ready you're going to step your left leg back in space keep that heel lifted again try and take it back a little bit further yeah. so not closer in because you're that's going to make it more wobbly so keep it hip distance yeah, yeah. but slide it back a bit more and yeah. that heel is nice and lifted. Good, transfer the weight back slightly, good. And you're gonna bend into both knees, slide down the wall. Really good. And then straighten. Is that far all enough down? Yeah, that looks good. How does that feel for your knees? Okay, I can feel it on the knees. Yeah. So, yeah. So if you feel it on your knees. Because I can feel it here on my right knee. On that knee. So I would say if you can shuffle that leg back even further so yeah. that when you're going down, this knee isn't going over your toes. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah, so you've got more okay. um, oh, right, range. Yeah. That's better. Feel better? Yeah, that's good. Good. And up. Do you feel a stretch at the front of your left hip at all? Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little yeah. bit, yeah. yeah so yeah. that well, is the stretching element yeah. that sometimes when you go down, you might get a bit of a yeah. openness in the front of that hip extensor. Yeah. Is that far enough back? That's far enough back. I think yeah. if you can go lower, I'd say go lower, keep that back heel lifted. Yeah, nice. Yeah. How's that feeling? Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> nice. And then... You're going to step forwards. Exactly. Ooh. So yeah, have the foot down just to yeah. find your balance. Yeah. And then float that knee up. Okay. Good. Tap the foot down. And again, so you're gonna bring that leg up. Lovely. Now what you wanna watch out for on the this one is that your hips don't hitch up like this. Okay. So with the hands on the hips, it can be quite handy, almost that you're pushing that hip down as the leg comes up. Okay. So both sides of your waist stay lengthened rather than doing okay. that. So, so do like you that. feel that hip is lifted a little bit? Okay. So try and press that side down and you're creasing into the front of the hip rather mm -hmm. than the hip tilting yeah. that's better yeah you feel the difference yeah. nice let's put the two together so you're going to bring that leg up mm. <laughs> <laughs> so much to think about i know i, I know it's just like, good yeah. tap it down first and then step it back yeah then, so keep that back heel lifted so tap the foot down next to okay. you okay and then go back okay. heel lifted and remember you're going to bend when you go down there so you lift hold Take the foot down. So, so uh, yeah. do it with me. So okay. you bring the leg up first. Yeah. Then you're just going to tap it down next yeah. to your other foot. Good. Yeah. Then step it back. And then step it back. Hold it there, and then you're going to slide down the wall. Great. Yes. Good. All okay. the way up. And again, just tap it forwards first. Refine that balance, and then lift the leg up. Yeah. yeah nice. Tap. There's so it's like uh, there's so much to think about. There is a lot to think about. Think about. Yeah. Um, but I know that in time it will, you know, yeah. that it will come. It's, it's such a simple exercise, but you can see exactly. how it will uh, come together. And, exactly. And that's know. where we kind of break it down. So you do the lunges first. Yeah. I would say start with those, then do this one. Yeah. And you don't have to put them all together straight away. That yeah. can be something that yeah. comes over time. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good for time. Good. Right. Okay, right. cool. Okay. So, um, so that was the lunges. Yeah. Ready for the... So you, how, um, so pref preferably, what was that? Um, so you may find one side is weaker than the other. Definitely. Do, what, That's... 10 to 12 reps? Yeah, I'd say 8 to 12. 8 to 12, um, yeah. Again, see how your knees feel. Yeah. Um, but the balance, you'll probably find definitely one side is easier than the other. Yeah. So I'd always say, you know, have a chair or a table or a wall nearby when you're doing yeah. those, just, just yeah. in case, um, find your weaker side and then... 
yeah. work on it. Um, okay. I don't know if you've heard any of Michael Mosey um, on radio, I think it's Radio 4. Okay. Um, but he says lots of people are doing, when they're brushing their teeth, standing on one leg. Oh, for right. half the time, yes. Yeah. So that's become okay, that's quite, quite, a, quite a few of my clients listen to him and tell me about oh, him. Right. So, okay. um, so, yeah, it's a good way to practice while you're doing brushing your teeth. Okay. Yeah, trying to balance okay. on, on one leg. <laughs> Great. Okay, that wasn't too bad. No, um, you did well. Was that, well done. <laughs> you're too kind. And then, um, uh, so no screaming yet. So no yeah. screaming, screaming yet, yet, that's good. <laughs> um, so, hip flexor. Yeah. Openers. So for this one, we're going to be kneeling on the floor. Right. Um, so a way to get down, kind of leading on from that last exercise, is if you step forwards this time and you're going to bend into both of your knees to come down. That's where you want to just be careful of the floor as you're lowering. So right. you can do that or you can just come down any other way you want to okay. come down. Okay. So. Yeah, nice. Okay. So this is the one, um, we can start with that leg. You might want to have the cushion underneath your knee. How does it feel on your knee there? Um, um, yeah, I mean, maybe cushion. Yeah, do, pop yeah. that one underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Better. And then we're going to have that left leg forward. So with this one, you want to have, you want to be able to see your left foot in front of your left knee. So right. I think shuffle it forwards a little bit more. Okay. And again, if you feel wobbly here, I've got the block there. So yeah. I'm going to give you the block on that side, just so you can have it, you can bring it up so it's um, yeah. portrait if you need to. Yeah. Um, but if you feel wobbly, again, be near a table, be near a chair if someone's doing this at home. The other thing you can do is just make your stance a bit wider. So if you yeah. take the foot a bit further out, obviously your surface area is slightly bigger. Right. So from there, we want to be feeling this in the front of your right hip. Right. So even before you start, if you really lengthen up through the spine, Think about your tailbone drawing down. Do you yeah. feel anything at the front of that right hip already? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So already you're getting a stretch there, and yeah. now we're just going to increase that. So you can keep hold of the block, or you might want to bring your hands onto your hips. Yeah. And you're just going to take it forwards just a small way until you feel that stretch increase. Right. Okay. And then so, bring it back. Yeah. So as you said, I mean, I am wearing jeans, but if you're yeah. wearing <laughs> leggings, then you'd 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 get more kind of range. Range. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so I'd say definitely do it not in jeans. <laughs> You're yeah, doing yeah. well. Um, take your left foot forwards a little bit further. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so you're really lengthened up through the spine here, lift yeah. the chest up. Tuck your tailbone a little bit more, yeah. almost like you're going to push your hips forward slightly. Squeeze the glutes, and then you're going to lean forward, so keeping your spine in neutral. Yeah, Rock I can really forward. feel that on, my, on this side. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to lean forward just a little way to get a tiny bit more, yeah. and then bring it back. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to go forwards. So this is really good for stretching those hip flexors. Exactly. Which are really tightened up either for, you know, people who are working in the office or something Exactly. Like if you're driving yeah. a lot or just if you, yeah, yeah if your lifestyle is quite sedentary, yeah. um, really good this one to open yeah, the hip flexors. Can... So keep rocking forwards and backwards. Keep it moving. Yeah. yeah. And also make sure you're breathing. Yeah. <laughs> good. And back. Nice. So I'd say again, you want to do about eight of those. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and nice. what we want to avoid with this one um, is when you're going forwards, you're not doing it, you're fine, but just for anyone watching, that you don't go like uh, this. So we don't want to back. arch the back exactly. Okay. You want to keep, like we did in that first one, the rib tip yeah. connection. So using your core again. Can you put your hands here? Or you can front, do, or yeah. You just don't want to be putting pressure down on that leg too much. Yeah. You want to feel it in the front of that yeah. hip. So yeah. again, you can use the block if you need to. Yeah. Good. How many have you done? A uh, hundred. Four, four, four. <laughs> <laughs> That's but I can fine. feel it here. Okay. Um, probably just your glutes stabilising you, hamstrings yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay, so from there, you're going to bring it back so that you're back in that start position. Keep yeah. the leg where it was. You're now going to be straightening this leg forwards. So you're going to walk it forwards as much as you can. Again, use the block if you need to. Yeah. So you can bring that block up just to have a little bit of stability. Yeah. And that leg is going to go as straight as possible. Don't worry, it doesn't fully straighten. Nice. Yeah. How's that feeling? I can, Good, yeah. I can I can really feel that here. Okay, so, so make yeah. sure you're, so we're not here now. You want to be back, so take yeah. the weight back, and then that leg straightens. Is yeah. that a bit better? Yeah, that's better, yeah. Yeah, nice. So, so I yeah. can feel the hamstrings now. Good, okay, perfect. So then you're going to bring your block forwards in front of you. Yeah. So it's still on the floor, and we're going to be folding at your hips here to yeah. lean into that stretch. Okay. 
can feel it. Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's quite strong, this one. Yeah. So definitely use the block if you're a little try bit and tight. Keep the back straight. Exactly, you want to be nice and lengthened through the spine. So you're really feeling into that back leg, keeping the chest lifted, and again, definitely breathing. Yeah. Nice. How's it feeling? That's a really, really, really strong stre stretch. stretch. Yeah. yeah. So just holding it there. Now, if you did want to increase it, you're going to flex that ankle. So you pull the toes up. Oh, yeah. And then press the foot back down. Yeah. Yeah. So then take oh, it all yeah. the way down. Yeah, you feel that? Yeah. Good. So we're going to flex. Nice. And point. Good. And we're going to keep going and keep breathing. And you want to keep thinking that you're leaning forwards into it, keeping that length through your spine. Yeah. So good for hamstrings. Good for hamstrings. Really good for the hamstrings and this I can one. feel it on um, sort of the front of my quads as well. Front of your quads. Okay, good. So yeah, you might feel right it in... On, the, on, on this side. On that one. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, that's just yeah. kind of a byproduct of this one. We yeah. really want to fill it into the back of that leg. Yeah. So do your last one, flexing. Yeah. And then lower the foot down. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to keep using that block now. And you're going to bend into that right leg. So, sorry, left leg. All the way forwards. So really lean into it. Good. Take mm -hmm. the block just on its side. Yeah. Nice. And see if you can go a little bit further. So holding onto the block, really going into that front hip now. Yeah. Good. How's that feeling? I can feel that. Do you think you could bring your hands down onto the block if the block was on its surface? Oh, <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> I think we might be able to get there. Yeah. Yeah, even just on the fingertips. Yeah, perfect. So you want to get basically as low as we can with this one. Really lean. And again, if you weren't yeah. in jeans, you could probably go a little bit further. Yeah. But think about that knee coming forwards a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. your furthest point. Yeah. So now we're going to let that leg roll out to the side. Oh my so, gosh. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> did you watch the video? <laughs> yeah, I did. I know. You're rolling out to the side as much as you can, and that'll be yeah. different for everyone. But yeah, so you want to be here, and then again, you're going to think chest reaching forwards, tailbone lengthening in the opposite direction. Oh my gosh. And again, breathing. Nice. So think chest going forwards a little bit more, yeah. lift the breastbone up. So you want to look up as much as you can. Good. Yeah. And keep gently feeling that knee is coming out to the side just a tiny bit more. I'm impressed you're doing it in jeans. I mean, this is not an easy one at the best of times. No, but... no, no, no. I'm impressed I'm doing it at all. Yeah. <laughs> no screaming. <laughs> no. That's good. That's good. So where are you feeling it now? So I can really feel it on the inside, inside of the, the... the abductors. Is that abductors? Or... So yeah, your adductors are the inner yeah. thigh, abductors, yeah. outer okay. thigh. Good. Yeah. Do okay. the last one there. And then you're going to bring that foot back onto the floor. Nice. Yeah. You're going to slide that foot back. Yeah. All the way, good, so yeah. that you're bringing it all the way back behind you. So you're going to come into a rest position here. Yeah. So take your knees nice and wide. You yeah. can move the cushion out of the way. Yeah. And then just come down and just give your hips a little rock from side to side. And you'll hopefully feel, if you take your knees a bit wider. Yeah. So feet together, knees wide. Do you feel a difference from one hip to the other? Or one leg to the other? Uh. Yeah. It's, it's so like one's maybe done something, the other one. Yeah, hasn't. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. 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 So now. We're I mean, I, I mean, throughout that exercise, I could feel. Lots was going a, on. Lots was going on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I mean, I, yeah. So we'll just even it up. So obviously, you worked the hip on that right side on your first side. We worked the the left hamstrings. Yeah. So we'll swap now, so that hopefully after this one, you're going to feel a little bit more even on both sides. Mm. Ready? <laughs> so you're going to bring that right leg forwards right. and you're going to take your cushion under your knee. Okay, yeah. Is it okay if I just take my jumper off? I'm just... Yeah, I know, oh, I'm, quite I'm, 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 I'm quite warm in here. Yeah, so, I mean, you're yeah, doing well. So I might yeah, just, just put that just one. To, I'm just going to put this on there. So, yeah. Yeah. So it's like that kind of Ashtang yoga type thing, was it? That, oh, yeah. The, uh, yeah. yeah. Hot yoga. So, that um, hot yoga thing. So, right, so. Um, yeah, exactly. And then that other leg coming forwards. Mm -hmm. Nice. So yeah, exactly, foot in front like that, perfect. And then again, you want to just find, so your tailbone is drawing down a little bit and you're nice and lengthened there. Good, and hands on the hips, or again, use the block if you need to. So again, you want to start to feel it. If you take the weight back a little bit, mm -hmm. so take your body back in space, 
so that you're nice and tall. Good. Are you feeling it in your left hip yet? Uh, yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sounded a bit unsure. <laughs> um, so if you're not, you want to think tuck in the tailbone more, squeeze the glutes on that side so you get that openness, and then we're going to lean forwards into it to increase that stretch, yeah. and then come back. Okay. okay. Am I further forward? Is that okay? No, that's good. As long as you can see your foot in front of that knee. Yeah. yeah. Good. And then shift the weight all the way back. Okay. Keep the head reaching out nice and tall, so look straight ahead. Okay. Good. Moving the hips forwards. Yeah. And back. How's it feeling? That's good. Yeah. That's all right. Is it different from the first side? Uh, yeah, I think maybe I could feel it more on the other side. On the other side, okay. Yeah. So, so it's think. normal to have one side that's a little bit tighter or yeah. um, more flexible. Yeah. Good. So. Yeah. Excellent. Nice. So. One more. Good, and then bring yourself all the way back up. So taking the weight all the way back. Nice, yeah. hold it there, keep that spine really nice and tall. Yeah. And then you're gonna straighten your front leg forwards. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. So straightening that front leg out in front of you, nice. Again, it might feel completely different on this side. Yeah. So the leg is straight, but you wanna stay nice and tall to start with. Good. Yeah. Then bring your block in front of you. Yeah. And I'd bring it up so it's yeah. that way okay. with both yeah. hands. So both hands on the block. Good. And you're going to lean forwards into it. Try and straighten yeah. that front leg a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Lift the chest. Feel. feel the back of that right leg. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nice. Definitely. Breathing. Good. Roll the shoulders back a little bit more. And then you're going to flex that ankle. Yeah. Good. Oh, yes. And then press the leg down. Nice. So this mm. is usually the worst bit. For most people, this is the right. worst one. Of the whole three exercises that we we're doing here, yeah. usually this one is the bit that people make the same face you just made. Okay. <laughs> or make those groaning noises, which is fine. It's very normal. Mm. Most people have very tight hamstrings, or lots of people have very tight hamstrings, especially right. if you're a runner, they are okay. going to be tight. Yeah. So again, just take it easy. If you're doing yeah. this um, at home and it's feeling really, really tight, just yeah. back off a little bit. Okay. You don't have to, if you haven't got a block, that's the other thing. If you haven't got a block and you can lean into it, yeah. you haven't got anything here, just have the hands on the hips and still go like that. Some people might be able to come all the way down yeah. and that's the other option. So that's kind of progressing it, the lower down you go. But if it feels too much to be down there, you can just be here. So you just want to feel it into the back of that leg. Can you um, hold onto a table definitely. at the side? Yeah. And then, you know, gradually yeah. go forward. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you just want to find a position where you're feeling it. Yeah. And you can move without yeah. okay. being in complete agony. A little bit of agony, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Not so you, agony. you really want to try and uh, feel the stretch there. But yeah. obviously be sensible about don't want to. Exactly. You don't yeah. want to pull your hamstring or yeah, anything. Exactly. But again, that's that, what I said when we were recording before, knowing... Yeah. your limits and knowing which yeah. you know what is okay. right for your body okay um so once you've done a couple like that then you're going to take that foot all the way down mm. and this is the part where we're going to lean forward so you're going to bend into that front yeah. leg again you can yeah. use the block if you need to so you're going to bring your hands down onto the block good yeah. and again you want to think chest lifting and reaching forward yeah. good and then you're going to roll that knee to the outside border yeah Exactly, good. So keep the hands on the block. Don't use your arm to do it. Keep looking forwards. Nice. Roll the shoulders back a little bit more. Try and take your knee by itself out to the side slightly more. Okay. Good. And then breathe. Nice. It's always the first thing to go. Have to yeah. make sure we're breathing. It does make it much easier if you do breathe. Good. How's this side feeling? Yeah, I, can, I think I'm, maybe I'm not as flexible on this side than the yeah. other side. I don't know if you can see, but... I mean, you're still. I think you're, it looks pretty even from yeah. the other side, but it might just feel like this side yeah. you haven't gone quite as far. Yeah. Um, again, that's it's probably just that side is a little bit less flexible. Okay. Um, we did come down with the block as well, so I think actually I would probably say yeah, I wouldn't say come down on the block. This yeah. side looks like you're at your limit. Okay. Oh, <laughs> um, in a good way. Oh, oh you're <laughs> getting competitive now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but now you've slightly rounded through your so spine. The, Okay. So exactly, so that's why we kept the block up because okay. it's just going to make it easier. The block is there to help you. We don't want it to make it any harder. Yeah. Okay. Um, good. And then you can 
take the block away, walk that front foot all the way back where you had it before. Yeah. So just pop the block to one side. So all the way back, we're gonna go back into that rest position. Mm -hmm. So you can take the cushion out of the way. So again, feet together, knees apart, and you're gonna drop back. And again, do that little rocking of the hips side to side. Yeah. Do they feel a little bit more even? Both yeah, sides have been yeah. worked now. Although, um, because it's, I can feel a sort of like, you know, pressing down on my foot. I yeah. I feel like it's, uh, so it's a little bit sore, but. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you can yeah, come yeah. out of that position then. Um, and yeah, that's that one done. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? <laughs> it's good. I think it, Obviously, it's the first time I've done it. Yeah. Then it's um, it's quite a lot to, you know, you just got to take it step by step. Exactly. Maybe do one of the exercises. Exactly. And then, you build know. Build on it. And then kind of build on it. Yeah. I think, yeah. So we can finish there. Okay. If that's all right with you. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. No. But as I said, we've.